Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 68. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are here now for the semi-pro class B Asian tour. Uh, and hopefully in today's stream, we'll actually get five um, championships done. Starting off with Sakuba circuit, twin ring Mategi, Suzuka circuit, Twin Ring Mategi, and then Suzuka Circuit. Let's get going. All right, here we go. Wow. So we're in a 370Z. With some upgrades, of course. Not a bad start. Not bad at all. Go on, keep it going. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Not too bad. I'm enjoying how this car drives, actually. There we go. So um last stream we obviously mentioned that Red Bull has uh been a little bit naughty. And they've gone over the 2021 cost cap for last year, right? Um, the FIA still have not announced a punishment for Red Bull. It's been three days, two days, two days. Oh, as well, I was listening to some tunes earlier and I heard Kings of Leon come on, like random recommended music. Absolutely gassed because I have not heard Kings of Leon in ages. So that's why I've added it to the uh, stream playlist because 
it's a good song. Some of their songs are amazing. But I think Kings of Leon has suffered the same as a lot of big artists did. And a, a lot of artists still do suffer from it. They, they last for about three to five years and then they're nowhere near as irrelevant. Nowhere near as relevant, sorry. So... It's very hard for an artist to actually, like, keep improving. Becoming more and more popular every day. I think a great example of an artist that can do that is, um, Ed Sheeran. My time is not on. Ah, shit. Now it is. To be fair, that time has got so much extra time where I've forgotten to turn it off. I think it's fine that I've missed a couple of minutes on it. The timer isn't even accurate. It's just approximate. It's like, oh yeah, this game's taken me 100 hours to do. This one's taken me 120. This one's, you know. It's not for an exact time. You need to add time. I had five minutes to it. Has the timer crashed? What? Okay. I have no clue what just happened to my timer software, but whatever. <laughs> Did my stream start then, or what? Ah, uh, fair enough. Closer. Oh, shit. Bad. Bad. Very bad. Computers fucking hating me today. Doing some weird shit. <sighs> to be fair, I have been very lucky because the past, like two months or three months of streaming I've not had a single problem I'm due an issue well overdue alright here we go a nudo race raybrig why does that raybrig logo look like it's the uh, Game Boy text like the Game Boy font <laughs> I forgot I added this. Blue. Boo, boo. Boo, boo. Boo, 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 This is a classic. This is a classic. <laughs> and a meme.
I need some more, like, meme songs in this playlist. Nothing, like, ridiculously meme -y, but meme. There's another meme, like, TikTok song kind of thing. It's not a TikTok song, but sort of is. I'm trying to find it. Multitasking is not a good idea while playing a racing game, that's for sure. Gummy. Bing, bing, bing. Bing, bing, bing. Right, I found it. It's on the uh, playlist for the next song. to see her like a bitch. <laughs> ah, cough. Cough, cough. Me on. Come on, we got this. Meow. Not bad. Biddly bing. Bad. Whoa. Oh. Edamami. Whoa. Whoa. 
Not too bad. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. I thought that last lap was the last lap, to be honest. Apparently not. Final hairpin corner. And there you go. Ghost has saved. I think. We got 14 grand and 11,000 XP. A 30% discount on flywheel upgrades. Nice. This is a really interesting song. It's called My Heart Has Teeth. Um, I found it today. Again, all of these songs I pretty much found today. It's like two and a half hours worth of songs. It's ridiculous. Um, I was listening to it earlier. And I was like, this has a groovy beat. But it's literally called My Heart Has Teeth. And that was like the punchline of the song. My heart has teeth. It's by the um it's by the woman that sung um I need a doctor with Eminem though. I need a doctor. Call me a doctor to bring me back to It's the same woman that sings that. So I don't know, it's quite a quite a relaxing song though. But I don't remember what this song is. <laughs> I do remember now. It's like a drum and bass thing. Like a reggae drum and bass. It's very interesting. But not like uh, Jungle and that kind of drum and bass. It's weird. Look, it's the London Eye. <clears throat> it's not. Do you know what I find really surprising? That Ferris wheel spins really fast. Like, it doesn't look like it from a distance, but that's pretty quick for a Ferris wheel to be spinning. into the grass a bit. Oh my god, Blackout. Long time no see. 
How you been? What up, button up? What up, chuckle nuts? How you been? I haven't, um, spoke to your Discord deliberately because I genuinely cannot tell whether it's a hacked account or not. Um, so. Ah, fair enough. Yeah, it's still... The amount of times that people ask about, oh, you should get into, like, GTA roleplay and stuff, I still... I try so hard to get into it. I just can't. Physically can't. It's the same as anime. No matter how much I try to show an interest in it, I can't. Um, even though I absolutely love Yakuza. Which is kind of interesting. <laughs> hey, not bad. Not a really bad cough, and it's really annoying me. City is based around cars. Isn't that what most cities are based around? Cars and people and shit like that. I can't remember what this genre is called, but um, it slaps. Whatever it is. Oh, blackout! Did I show you what I bought? I don't think I have done because we haven't spoken in a while. But I bought something a week ago, and it came a week ago. Actually, when did it arrive? That's Friday. It's Wednesday. So yeah, about five days ago. Ah, yeah, fair enough. Most uh, GTA roleplay is based around cops and criminals. So... Fair enough. That makes sense. Oh, a little bit slidey. Ah, uh, keep it moving. I don't know what the genre is called, but it's so good. 13 grand. Not bad. Alright, here we go. Bing, 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 bing. Right, we've got two more races to go. 
this one and the next one, and then we're done with this championship. Not got long left to go. bad. Looking good. Stanley Raybrig. You can't tell me that that's not the Game Boy text. It looks exactly like the Game Boy font. Oh my god, it's been a while since I've seen Dunlop sponsors. Felt like a um, sports brand, wouldn't they? But they were heavy in like the golf space. We did a lot of golf stuff. Sonico. It is really interesting seeing some of these advertising boards. Was it, um, Motorsport 1? I remember seeing, like, a Comet advertising board somewhere, I think. And obviously that had shut down. It was, like, on the New York circuit. Toys R Us as well. That's one that you see in all three New York circuits, I believe. But, um, they genuinely are shut... Obviously, Toys R Us is... It's not... There are stores that still exist, but it's not like it was before. It's not a mainstream chain anymore. It's basically fully shut down. By, like, one store. Or two. It's like Blockbuster. Blockbuster's shut down, but there are some Blockbusters still open. Yeah, I miss the era of Blockbuster. You used to be able to go into there and you could like buy movies, rent movies, all sorts. It was awesome. Watch is telling me to get up and move. I shall get up and move in a minute and get a... What's it called? Oh, I love this song. Sweet. 
Do you know what? I thought this was a Killers song. Originally. Because it has that vibe that Killers always does, but it's, it's not a Killers song. A moment I lie, I kiss, I cry. Right, one more lap. Wow, wow. Coming up to the final section of this race. Basically on the uh, last quarter, pretty much. We're coming up to it. So, now we're on the final quarter, pretty much. We got this! Ah, oh, yes! Fastest lap on that final lap. Not bad. Continue. 16 grand and 12,000 XP. So it's a discount on brakes. Ooh! Oh my god, I'm shattered. To be fair, I have literally taken apart an entire PC and put it back together again today, so. Oh. <laughs> Nice. 
Whoa! Okay, there we go. That was going very deep into that corner, to be honest, so... Was a little bit scared. But, uh, looking good. Ah, shit. Thumbstick on my controller wasn't working properly. So I'm really excited for that new uh, PlayStation Edge controller just because of the fact it's got replaceable thumbsticks. <clears throat> it's also one of the reasons why I bought the Steam Deck because I knew. Like, if I bought a Nintendo Switch, you obviously have to put up with the fact that the Joy-Cons die. You have to replace the entire Joy-Cons. But with the Steam Deck, it's just, ah, pull out the thumbstick, put a new one in. And to be honest, so far, the Steam Deck is an absolute cracking system. Like, I cannot emphasize how good I think it is. bad. Do you know what I would like to see is for Ubisoft to get acquired by either Microsoft or Sony? Because if um, Ubisoft gets acquired by <coughs> Xbox, Xbox will shut down the Ubisoft store and put everything on Steam, which is good. Honestly, like Steam and Epic Games are like well, to be fair, not even Epic Games. Like Steam is the main store that you want to buy your games on. And I'll be honest with how um, what's his name? The Epic Games CEO, right? I'm not a fan of him. I'm not a fan of his because he he's a weird bloke. He does a. Like, his company does a lot of shit that, you know, you could say, oh, he's an amazing guy. He's done all this. He's fighting Apple for all these developer cuts and the fact that developers are charged so much taxes on all their work and all that. And yeah, f fair play to fight Apple and Google and take them up on their bullshit. I mean, that's fair enough. But he also is known for destroying the gaming industry. I mean, the practices that it, Epic Games puts in their own first-party games have ruined modern gaming. Literally. Uh, as for, I don't know, it's just odd. Oh yeah, and the fact that Epic Games, um, with their store, is very restrictive. Like, any games, games can obviously go on the Epic Games store and the Steam store, but Epic likes to get exclusivity deals. Which means that games can only be on the Epic Games Store. You don't see Steam fighting for an exclusivity deal very often. 
Um, and most of the time, developers don't put their games on Epic Games because of the fact that Epic Games just isn't a w viable option for them. But then again, Epic Games has the support creator thing, and I think that's very fair. Because when you think about it, the gaming industry is only as successful as it is because of creators. Um, so... I think that's good to pay back to creators. But again, it's a really weird gray area. Not bad. Alright. 12 grand. 9,500 XP. Ow! Just dropped my controller. That's not ideal. There we go, 26 grand. Woohoo! So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.